Okay, welcome back to part three on this age verification. Um, we completed index.php, and now I'm going to show you how to create the other two pages. So on enter.php, first off, we need to start any sessions. Um, so session underscore start. This will start any sessions that are currently active within the browser. Um, so if we're just going to create an if statement here. So if um, dollar underscore session. So if the over 18 session is not there. So put an exclamation mark in front of that. So if it's not existing, then we need to redirect the user back to um, index.php because um, the user has not entered a birth date to validate their age. So assuming that the session does exist we can then just echo out to the user um, welcome to the over 18s page so that's enter.php pretty simple all you need to do is this if statement here just to like protect the page and then whatever else goes down here so if you got html code um, down here for all your html stuff then um, that's what you'd have just have php and that at the top and you don't have to have echo that's just what i put because we're using php um, so that's enter.php now for leave Leaves even more simple. To be honest, it's not got any uh, any coding on it. It's just an echo because um, leave.php doesn't necessarily need any code because um, they're under 18. So we can just do redirect them to whatever we like. But we can put in you must be over 18 to view this page. I'm gonna paragraph that break off and just move this down here just so we can see what we're working with um, and then we're going to put click here to um, leave and this is then going to go to um, um, let's say Google Ok, so now let's test it out and see what we've got. Um, if I completely refresh. Now as you can see, um, if I enter my birth date, I am over 18, so I should be redirected to welcome to the over 18s page. So if I now um, open up a new browser, open up a new tab here, and then decide I want to go to it through this um, age verification here, as you can see it's just the age verification nothing else I can click that and I automatically get redirected to the welcome to the over 18s page because of that session being set now if I um, close my browser and open up again I know this is like a flaw but um, it's sessions for you and if I go back to his age.verification index one again I have to enter my birth date again now if I enter a birth date that is under 18 we get, we get you must be over 18 to this page click here to leave and that just takes me to Google if I open up a new tab again and then try and go back to the index page we get you must be over 18 to this page so either way um, it, it sort of remembers what the user's birthday is and remembers um, what page that they should be on until the browser is closed because that's when all sessions are destroyed and so basically that's just a simple age verification so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time